This week we're at Red Rock Canyon. Red Rock is a world-class climbing area known for its desert landscape and the plethora of amazing climbing, from bouldering to sport to multi-pitch trad epics, as well as its close proximity to Las Vegas, with top-notch climbs just 30 minutes from the Strip. For the next few days, I'm going to be climbing with Fallon and Landon, and on the tick list is Desert Reality, which is a 25-foot roof crack perched 150 feet off the ground. I think I first heard about Desert Gold probably when I was a kid, but then when I started trad climbing right after high school, I must have seen the route more specifically and thought like, wow, that would be a dream climb. So yeah, I'd been thinking about doing it at least for a decade. And what really just inspires me is the striking line. You see this like pyramid shaped roof and there's just this perfect crack going out to it with nothing else on it. Like the walls are just blank. There's just some small little divots, but it's just this beautiful aesthetically pleasing line. And then it just happens to be hard. And that's really cool too. I think for me, what was really appealing about it was how unlikely of a feature it is. As a geologist, it's like you see a roof like that and you're like, ooh, that's gonna fall down someday because everything else below it fell down in order to create it. So it's kind of scary, but it's pretty cool that it was able to like make such a nice splitter right down the roof. Like it is really striking to look at. The route is located at the mouth of this canyon in Red Rock and you have to hike pretty far up to get to it and then do this really chossy, loose approach pitch to get to the actual anchor where the climb starts. And then from there you scramble up these super loose blocks and then you have to transition into this really thin crack. And the thin crack starts as kind of like a micro cam crack where you can just barely get your fingertips in and then it slowly widens upwards and you go through a really difficult section where you can get finger locks and then baggy fingers and then it opens up a little bit more to ring locks like a 0.75 it then opens into like number ones where you can get thin hand jamming and then right after that the crack is big enough where you can finally get your feet into it more which is helpful and transition into the horizontal roof and it gets into this beautiful horizontal roof of just number twos and some final number threes in the end and big old top out. So if you do the entire climb from the finger crack all the way through the roof to the top, it's called Desert Gold, which is 513A. If you do the finger crack on its own, 12D, if you do just the roof, it's called Desert Reality, which is around 512A. So you can aid through the finger crack or do whatever you need to do to get up to the roof. And then if you just do the roof, it's the 12A Desert Reality. So we got here on Saturday and me and my good friend Ben went up and I started working on the route and I wanted to figure out where all the best gear placements were and where all the best jams were. So I went through and I started making a mental map in my brain so I could work out the moves and figure out where all the best holds were. And I did one or two attempts that day and just took through most of the route. So we came back the next day and my good friend Fallon met up with us and we started working on the route then. She has this little studio apartment and we built this 12 foot crack machine that took up more than half of the apartment so we could train roof cracks. It was really good preparation because you got a feeling for those roof jams. It's funny because you go from the crack trainer and it feels really like not easy but very doable to move between jams on roofs for long sections. But the moment that you have to hang off the jams long enough to place gear, it becomes a lot harder.
Landon had gotten an extra day to work on the climb, but I had to work, so I came down the next day and I just got the one session on it, which was really helpful. I was able to get a feel for the climb and work things out. And I realized I wasn't strong enough right now for the finger crack, which is okay. And I tried to pink point the roof as well, but I had to do one take at the end. I was just pumping out way too much with the number threes, but I was really happy with a one take on the roof and I want to come back and red point it. I think I'd be really happy this trip if I could just get desert reality, which is aiding up the finger crack and then building a belay and then starting from the roof and climbing the roof that goes at like 12A. I'm yet to send a 13 trad route, and I really just really want to find the right one. I think I might have found the right one to really put my time and dedication. And I've just really been trying to build my 12 tick list so that at 13 grade can seem maybe a little more attainable. So I thought I'd try desert gold. <laughs> it sounds ridiculous now that I say it because like desert gold's like a notoriously like hard route. 